isn't it too early for anyone to be having such a such a heavy meal for breakfast? I don't get it. This is what I feel like eating and you should have some. It's really delicious. You know, before you start your busy day, instead of that light meal that you want to have. You're kidding, right? Mm -hmm. You want me to go and start sleeping at the office? Hmm. Babe, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Decent breakfast. You need to watch what you eat. What is that supposed to mean? Let, let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Have you been noticing any changes in your body? What change? More beautiful? When last did you look at the mirror? This morning. <laughs> And you didn't notice any changes? What change exactly are you talking about? Well, since you want me to spell it out for you, mm -hmm. you're getting fat, Anna. Very fat. You know what? You can, you can actually eat this. I've lost my appetite. I'm sure you can finish that one and this one, so enjoy. See, that's your business, but you should come back and eat this food because I don't know who is going to eat this bad food that you left here. Huh? I'm getting fat. I'm eating LD and he's saying that I'm getting fat. Who does that? Whatever. You cannot shame me shameless. I'll finish this food. what company you have penned down for the contract. I want to see the files of all the construction companies that are interested in the project. Are you listening to me at all? And I said I don't care. I don't care if you've given them your word. So long as we're yet to mobilize financially, I want to see all bidding first. Thank you. How hard is that? Ah, oh, I want somebody to start their day angry. I mean, the door is, is not locked. Oh. Hello. Good afternoon. Good, good afternoon. Sorry, who are you? My name is Beatrice. I just rented the vacant shop down the street. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Yes. We Hi. opened two weeks ago. Okay. This is me going from door to door to let everyone know that there's a meaning more open down the street for business. You know, to make new friends. Oh, nice. Yes. Nice. And um, I will patronize you. Please do. I promise. We sell soft drinks, provisions, household items. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so you... you have a lovely home. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Wait, what's your name? Oh, me. You can call me Hannah. Hannah. Mm. Hannah, nice to meet you. The pleasure is mine. So, what do you do? Myself? Mm -hmm. Oh, I take care of myself, 
my husband and I take care of the home generally. Mm. <laughs> so what's your occupation? I just told you, okay. In a plain text, I am a full-time housewife. I take care of my husband and I take care of the home. Oh, I see. <laughs> yes. I see. <laughs> Do you know that the man in the next compound is a full-time house husband and the wife is the breadwinner? Oh, really? <laughs> Since two weeks that I opened my shop now, mm -hmm. the wife is always going to work in the morning and that man is always in the house. Mm, maybe he's on leave now, you know, you never can tell. Mm -hmm. mm. That's a lie. Uh -uh. He usually comes to the store to buy things on credit and he will tell me that I should ask the wife for money whenever I see her. <sighs> no. That one is very bad. A man should cater to the needs of his family. Uh -huh, no. Uh -huh. mm. I think you should leave me. Fresh may not do. Very fresh may not. <laughs> but I didn't. I didn't ask you to huh? take it. Yeah. <laughs> very fresh. Eh? I can see you're enjoying it. Eh? Fine lights. Now that we are friends. She, you come and patronize him. Of course. Mm. I will patronize him. And um, I will buy another granite from you. Ah, please, I have fresh granite. Mm. Mm. Hey, let, me, let me come and pick you. Yes, you should. I'm um, sorry. Yes. <laughs> See yourself out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> mm. What a serious issue. What's up? Um, it's about the new mini estate contract that we've been bidding for with Pyramid Structures. Guy, nothing can go wrong with that deal. You know how much it means to the survival of this business. I know, but the company is under a new management. And I hear the lady that now calls the shots is a demon. A demon? A demon. <laughs> she doesn't accept kickbacks. She's currently reviewing all bids and has asked all interested companies to rebid. Guy, are you sure this is not a gimmick by our contact guy to demand for more palm greasing? It's not, at all. But we have a good relationship with this company. That should count for something. Our guy even tells me we need to send another proposal. And this time around with a more reasonable quotation. And what happens to the bribe, the huge bribe that we already gave to him? <laughs> I would just suggest we forget about that, man. Let's forget about that and focus on this new lady in charge. Let's try and win our hearts. That should be our goal right now. Fine. We can go on with it. I was counting on that deal to make up for the slow business in the past five months. Same year, man. Same year. I'm on it. <laughs> Detergent. Detergent. Yes. I think that's it. Come, 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 come. I have juice for you. You have juice. Come and sit down. Come and sit down. I have juice for you. Sit down first. Okay. Oh, yeah. Hey. Hannah. Hmm? She, you know the big supermarket at the bus stop? Yes. You know the supermarket, Abby? Yes. The owner lives down the street. I know. What happened? I hear she's diabolical. <laughs> How? She uses charm to attract her customers and steal the destiny of people buying things from her. Eh? It's a eh. lie. It's a lie, eh? <laughs> Hope you've not gotten anything from that supermarket. Eh, not yet, no, but I was planning to... Planning to what? Maybe you don't...
don't mind people using your destiny. God forbid. Uh -uh. What happened now? That's what I thought. Uh -huh. eh? Anyways, thank you for this information, no, eh? What are friends for? Uh -huh. My friend. <laughs> hey. So what is it you wanted to buy, sir? Um, detergent now. I'm going to ring it for thank you. you. My friend. <laughs> Sorry. Hey. I just remember something. What was that? She you know that Alhajad and live opposite your flat. She you know she's sick. Uh, I didn't know. I'm just hearing you know. Partial stroke. Ah. Oh. And I was one I've been sick for months now. Hey, yeah. Is he down with stroke too? No. Ah, no. He had an accident on his way back from a friend's party. Drunk and driving. Ah. 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 He's a serious alcoholic. His first son has taken after him. Ah, that one is no good. Mm. That one is no good at <laughs> all. Hey. Hey, but wait, hey, Beatrice. Hmm? Was it not three weeks ago that you rented this shop? Mm -hmm. So how come you know every gist about the neighborhood that me I don't even know? <laughs> My friend, leave that thing. Leave it. It's not how far. It's how way. Me, like this. Mm. I am very observant yeah. of things happening in my environment. Okay. Eh? See my eyes. Igu eyes. <laughs> oh, I understand. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, come and give me this so perfect. <laughs> now, BBC is supposed to work. Oh, yeah. Yeah. My <laughs> friend, my friend. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I love God, Ricky, so yeah. Hey, my friend. <laughs> 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 Babe, you are back? Uh -uh. I'm not back. It's my ghost you're looking at. Um, I'm sorry. I wasn't expecting you this early. It's 5 p.m., Anna. Oh. Why did you leave dishes on the table? And I saw some of them unwashed in the kitchen. Why? I even saw a bucket filled with laundry. Um, I went to get detergent for laundry. And the dishes? I was going to fix that after laundry. Why? What have you been doing all day? Um, I wasn't expecting you back this early, so I was going to fix everything before you get back. I'm, I'm sorry. Look, the house should always be clean. Please, how difficult can that be? Um, I know you must be hungry. That's when you get this cranky. I would quickly fix something for God you God forbid. There's no way I'm eating out of that filthy kitchen. Okay, okay. You've made your point. I'll, I'll just clean it. Hmm? 
Okay. Yo, how far now? I just received a call from Pyramid Structures. Tell me it's good news. <laughs> the demon I told you about wants us to come in to defend the new proposal we sent. When? Today. Today? How can they, how can they call today and expect <laughs> us to come in today? Now you see why she's called a demon. <laughs> we, we don't have a choice. We have to go. Definitely. Um, by the way, um, when last did you go to church? I don't know. Why? I want to know how well connected you are to God, though, so that you ask him to give us this day our daily bread. Ah. Uh, you, how well connected are you to God? <laughs> hmm? I only go to church during because of our service. <laughs> I see. Well, since we're both sinners, mm. all we can do is be optimistic. I really hope so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's get ready, Abek. Let me shut this down so we can move. Okay. Uh, close this. I'll join you shortly. Welcome, gentlemen. Thanks for having us, Mom. You can have a seat. Yeah, thank you. One second. You are representatives from Cornerstone Constructions. Um, yes, we are. And um, we've handled several pet projects successfully for your company. Are stated in our proposal. Mm -hmm. Like you said, pet project, which is totally different from building 40 blocks of flats. I'm sure you'll agree with me. You see, um, trust me, ma'am, our company is the best thing for the job because besides ensuring that all our buildings are solid, we also deliver on time. Okay, let's talk about the huge difference between the first and second quotation in the proposal you sent in for consideration. Um, how do you mean, ma'am? Why were the prices for materials in the first quote you sent times three of what's in the rebid you sent? Um, uh, you see, um, actually, uh, 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 we made you know, that first quotation based on the prices that was available to us then. That was two months ago. So you mean to tell me that the prices for building materials reduced below 50% in less than two months? Well, it would be nice for you to say something now, Yuri. Actually, there will be no need for that. I've heard everything I need to hear. Thanks for coming. We'll get back to you. <sighs> okay. Thank you, Mom. You will have to excuse me now, Mr. Henry. I said to Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Bro, what was that about now, huh? How could you suddenly become so deaf and dumb in the middle of such an important business meeting? DJ, you won't understand. Oh, I won't. Of course. Pretty lady, I mean, she also struck a chord in me. But you should know better than jeopardize business like that. It's not about her beauty. Okay, so it is work of your village people now, eh? They, they, they suddenly stole your voice and your senses where you needed them the most. Huh? I know that lady. What do you mean, you know her? <laughs> My sister. Hmm? As I was saying, the man used his mother for money rituals. That's why he's so rich. Ah. Ah. Hmm. No wonder. Mm -hmm. I'm saying that how did he acquire all these properties, the exotic cars, and the house he's living in presently? That's how. Ah. That's how now. Even the friend. Hmm. 
the friend, mm. use his manhood. Sacrifice his manhood. Hey! That's why he's not married as old as he is now. It's a lie. Mm. Oh, things are happening in this neighborhood, though. My sister. We not be victim of circumstances. Ah, amen. Oh. Amen. Do it. Ah. Uh. Amen. Amen. Ah. <laughs> 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 You? <sighs> I'm so tired. Do you know what time it is? Babe, there was so much work to be done at the office today. Yeah. There's always so much work for you to do at the office and you keep surpassing your previous record of returning home at odd hours. But babe, it's not even that late. Y you don't think 11 p.m. is that late? Um, okay. I agree I left the office late, but if you see the traffic on the road... Don't, don't give me that traffic card. I'm not buying it. You're just too selfish and insensitive. Henry. What kind of... Why would I marry a wife that, 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 that's not available to cook or, or cater to my other needs? Babe, you know I just got promoted at work, so I can't be dropping the balls now. First of all, you needed to work hard to get this promotion. And now you need to work twice as hard to keep this same promotion? Yes. And you have to be reasonable about it. Okay, what do you want me to do? When, when are you going to be available for this marriage? When are you going to actually start being a wife? I am trying. I'm trying my best. I don't know what else you want me to do. It just seems like you keep complaining about everything I do. You need to stop complaining every single time. Henry, don't walk out on me. Henry! Babe! Oh yeah, sorry, come now. What does it look like I'm doing? I'm making dinner for myself. Is that why you want to burn the whole house down? What are you doing here by this time? 
I wasn't expecting you till midnight as usual. Well, I had to rush home to make dinner for my loving husband. <laughs> um, I have a meeting with a prospective client in another 30 minutes though. Meaning you're still going to work at this time? Uh, not to the office. I'm meeting with the client at a restaurant on the island. It's okay. You can go for your meeting. Henry, come on. Why are you bothering me now? A responsible wife should be done with work for the day and retire home to be with her family by this time. Babe, the client is leaving town tomorrow and won't be back till the next six months. I have to see him tonight. Go and see your client. Henry, I'll be fine. Go and see your client, please. Henry, thank you. You know what? Henry. Turn it off yourself. When did you get back? About 30 minutes ago. Oh, oh, okay. Where are you coming from? I was at my friend's place up the street. Doing what? Oh, that. We we're playing games and justin. Taking so much time before coming to bed, huh? I'm, I'm not taking much time. You just want me to come to bed because of what you want. And isn't that a good enough reason? I'm sure it is. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Easy, Tiger. I have a gift for you. Oh, okay. What's that? Protection. I'm not safe. Good for me. I need you to be pregnant. Bad for me. I can't be pregnant now. May I ask why? Because I need another one or two years to focus on my real estate career. And I can't do that once I get pregnant. So, let me get this straight. 
everything is subject to the progress of your career, even your conjugal duties. I am not denying you of your conjugal rights. Have I ever closed my legs and not allowed you to do? Huh? I'm just saying I can't get pregnant now, hence we should use protection. How difficult is that? Samantha, it's been a year since we got married. People are already grumbling and wondering why you're not pregnant. Who cares about what people say? Harry, this is about you and I, okay? I don't care about what people say, you shouldn't. Listen to me, there's no way I'm going to wait till you're ready before we start having babies. Do you understand me? Well, you don't have much of a choice now, do you? This is my body. So I decide what, when, and how this whole baby making thing is going to work. After all, I'm the one whose life is going to be on hold for a while while playing mother. And I am simply not ready. Samantha. Don't Samantha me anything. I'm coming to the bed. Don't touch me. Don't. We have to make babies, okay? We're going to make babies. Don't touch me. If you want to touch me tonight, you must use protection. Samantha. Samantha. Spread. I'm not spreading. Samantha, spread. I will not spread. Spread I your will legs, not Samantha. not spread my legs, Harry. Are you, are you being serious right now? Don't touch me. You, 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 you really don't want a baby. I don't want a baby. You're going to pick your career over a baby. Yes, yes. I'll pick my career a million and one times. Look, your mates are in you uh, over babies and, and, and you, don't, you, you don't want that one? That is their business. I will uh, uh, over my career. Samantha. Samantha, spread. Steven, I'm not spreading anything. Spread I your will legs. not spread my legs. Leave me alone, Henry. Move. Move. Oh, I'm demarcating this bed. Every time you complaining, complaining. Like I, 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 like I close my legs for you. Every time you say I should open, I open. So but you... today... Today, no, it's not going to happen. Without that protection, I am not opening anything. So you pick real estate over, over, over kids? Yes. I will not open it. Even the tip will not enter. Good night. Let's see if that condom will come and play with you in, in your old age. What's the way forward now? I wish I could answer that question. <laughs> we can't let this deal slip off our people because I don't need to tell you what's at stake here. You don't. Um, how long were you and Samantha married for? Two years. Why? I'm just trying to look at the chances we have if we try to leverage on old things. I, I, I tell you, man. Zero chances, judging by how we separated. Mm. But what really happened between the both of you? I mean, that made the marriage so young to dissolve. Let's just say she was 
focused on being a successful career woman and I thought I needed a homely wife who wouldn't place her career over family. But no, no, that's not, that's not enough reason to divorce. You can't tell me that's why you guys divorced. No, you can't. There must be other reasons. No, it wasn't. But things got worse. Who are you? Um, my name is Hannah. Your, your wife told me to come and cook for you. Um, sir, the food will be out in a minute. Yeah, what is she doing cooking in our kitchen? Okay, so a colleague at work who is also as busy as I am mm -hmm. told me how she was able to solve the challenges of having time to cook for her husband. So I decided to apply her method since we seem to be having the same challenge. Samantha, don't tell me you hired a maid without my consent. She's not a maid, she's a cook. She'll come in twice a week to make your favorite meals Put them in the fridge so that you can always sort yourself out whenever you're hungry. No. I don't want any stranger cooking my meals. Harry, please. My workload in the office will increase in the next few months. And I need you to meet me halfway here. Come on, I'm trying. Why are you staring at me like that now? As if I've done something wrong. So you're telling me Anna used to be your house help? Girl, I don't want to talk about it again. Ah, I quite get it. I, I, I quite understand. But how are you going to ensure we don't lose this contract? What do we do? I don't know. You just have to find a way to plead with Samantha. You have to find a way for her. And you think she'll listen to whatever I have to say? Samantha was once your wife. You must know a way to get you to her. There must be a way. I mean, you guys were once married now. There must be a way. know you finally found your voice after the way you were dumbfounded the other day. I guess I was overwhelmed with shock to see you again. Well, I must say I was surprised too, considering you used to be in the IT industry. The home construction firm belongs to my partner. I joined the business after I got laid off from the IT company. I see. I'm wondering why you're here today, though. It's good to see you again. Is it? Yeah. You look really good, and mm -hmm. I can see that you've finally climbed up the career ladder like you've always wanted to. Thank you very much. I'm sure you also have for yourself 
a very homely wife and an adorable child. Or should I say children? Like you've always wanted. I see you're still single. Harry, why are you here? Do you ever feel like we both gave up on our marriage too soon? Are you for real right now? Yeah. You shouldn't have jumped to filing for a divorce. You! You got our cook pregnant. What was I supposed to do? Wait around and accept that in good faith? You brought her into our lives. To cook for you! And not to get cocked by you! Jeez. I feel like that was a setup and I shouldn't have fallen for it. What do you mean it's set up? Hmm? Samantha, did you intentionally bring Anna into our home just so you can find an exit out of our marriage? Wow. Just wow. Henry, so you left your office, came to mine, to try to make yourself feel good by putting the blame of your huge mess on me? You were just so eager to leave the marriage. And right now, I am so eager to throw you out of my office. Listen, Samantha. You know what? Get up. Get up and get out. Now! If I call security, get out! Imagine powder dash. Um, how did the meeting go? sent me out of the office. Does this mean we've lost the contract? We didn't get to talk about that at all. I don't get, I mean, you went to see her to talk about the contract now. Yes, I'll talk to her about that later. Later when? I mean, you just said she walked you out of her office. It doesn't mean I won't go back to see her. Look, Samantha and I have a lot to talk about aside the contract. What else do you have to talk about? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Have you heard? Heard what? Come now. Okay. Come fast. Heard what? Sit down, sit down, sit down. In my house. Okay. <laughs> What's up? So you've not heard? Heard what now? <laughs> that banker woman. Uh. The one at the house with the blue rooftop. Yeah. That one that is always leaving very early and returning late. Yeah, what happened to her? She caught her husband sleeping with the housemaid. <laughs> she almost ran mad in shock. <coughs> <coughs> Some people are wicked. <laughs> Some housemaid will not die well. Uh, mm -mm. Now, why would somebody employ you and end up sleeping with the husband? <coughs> um. You cannot 100% um, blame the girl, you know? You are right. It's the fault of that useless man. Eh? That cannot respect his vows and, and his wife. You are right. Um, you know, let me explain something to you. Some, some women, some married women, mm -hmm. they just want to like get married, to have the relationship status changed to missus, you know? And why they keep living like single ladies? You understand me, right? Are you saying it is the fault of the wife that the husband was sleeping with the maid? No, 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 no. But yeah. maybe it's you that said that the woman will go out in the morning, very early, and come back late, right? Mm -hmm. Like when everybody's asleep and mm -hmm. stuff. And she's not doing her duty now, so somebody else is doing it for her. 
Abi. So I, I, if you hire a maid and your husband starts sleeping with you. Hey, Beatrice. Uh -uh. What happened? Oh yeah, come and be going. Are you angry? No, no, at all. I'm, I just, you have customers in your shop, you need to make money, you need to add some flesh, you know. Stand up. Uh -uh. Come and be going. No, 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 no. Hmm? Stand up. Let me see you out. Uh, no. Mm, uh, uh. What? Ah, no, no, no. Thank you. Yes. Go and sell markets. Eh? You need money. You need money. You need to eat food so that you can add don't flesh. Like this. I take. Ah, uh ah. -uh. No, Shelley. You can't possibly be thinking of traveling out of town for days for another business seminar. Why do we have to do this always? Huh? Can't you just be supportive for once? No, I'm not going to support your insensitivity and selfishness. You're the one being insensitive and selfish. Gosh, I can't do this. Are you done cooking? Yes, ma. Tidy up the kitchen. And hey, don't forget to give my husband food. I don't want him starving. Um, okay, ma. I have a safe flight, ma. Um, sir, should I serve you now? Serve me what? Anything you need. So, I made your favorite, but <laughs> I don't know if you want appetizer first before the menu. I'm tired. Just want to shower and sleep. Wait. <clears throat> Henry, it's been over six months since you touched me. I know that. So how are we going to make babies if we don't have sexual intercourse? I'm not in the mood for this argument. Please. I don't want to hug you. I just want to have a conversation. I want to talk. What is going on with you? Leave me alone. You're not in the office. No, I'm not. Where are you? In my car, outside Samantha's office. You went to see her? Yes. I know she won't let me in, so I'm waiting for her to come out so I can trail her home or anywhere else so we can talk. See, guy, just kneel and beg her. Cry if you have to. Just do whatever it takes for us to get this contract, please. I'm not going to kneel down and beg her. I'm a grown man. Come, see, you better swallow down your pride or else we are out of business. I have to go, I have to go. I can see her now. Ah, Beatrice. How 
happened? I did. This is a surprise. What is? This now. I thought we were no longer friends. After the way you walked me out of your house the last time. Abba now. I'm sorry. See, look, I'm, I, I had a bad day. Or oh, I was having a bad day. I was in a bad mood. I'm so sorry. Hmm? My Leave friend. me, Joe. No vex now. <laughs> Fine, <game. laughs> You, You guys enjoy. What can put you in a bad day? Um, I kind of like have a personal issue going on with me. Don't, don't worry yourself about it. Hmm? What do you mean? You have to tell me. Mm, you know that a problem shared is a problem half solved. Now come on, sit down, come on, sit down. Come on, sit down. What are you doing in my room? And in my bed? Welcome. You're back home so early. Is it that there is no work to be done at the office? Get your filthy self out of my bed now before I give you a dirty slap! Samantha, do not yell at me. Why did you just call me? I'm sure you do not have Apollo in your ear. And you heard me clearly, perfectly. Babe. Henry. What is the cook doing in our bed? <laughs> do you want me to tell her or you are going to tell her yourself? Tell me. Tell me. Tell me what? Samantha, we need to talk. Talk about what? What exactly is going on here? The fact that I am pregnant for him. I'm carrying his child. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to have to leave you two to talk while I go check on Lina, right? of yours. Henry is our cook pregnant for you? Yes, but... No, but! You see, I understand what this is and I want a divorce. You know what? Scratch that. I need a divorce.
Hello, Samantha. What are you doing here? And how do you even know my house? It's a small world. Kelly, you can't be here. Please go away. Look, we need to talk. Talk about what? I'm sorry I tried to put the blame of what happened on you. It was totally my fault. Thank you. Apology accepted. Now go home to your wife and child! There is no child, Samantha. What do you mean there is no child? She was pregnant for you. Yes, she was. But it was an ectopic pregnancy. And we had to get rid of it. Wow. I am so sorry to hear this. I know how much you wanted a child. I'm so sorry. You know what, just have a seat. After the ectopic pregnancy, I tried to conceive again, but it was almost impossible. Is this what's bothering you? Is it not enough to bother me? Huh? Even my husband is, is already giving me attitude. He's, he's tired of trying. You know what? See, I'll take you to my pastor. That's his area of specialization. How? Is he a doctor? No. See, let me tell you. My pastor has the direct contact of angels in charge of everything concerning childbirth and marriage. Mm, that's good. See, there's this woman that was married for 12 years with no child. By the time I took her to my pastor, and my pastor prayed for her and her husband, she had triplets. Wow. After just nine months. And several other cases like that. Wow. Yes. Uh, so, w when can we go there? Anytime you are ready. Uh -huh. Don't worry, I'll take you. I'm ready. You are ready. <laughs> we'll go tomorrow. Chill. My friend, my child, we'll go tomorrow. My child. There you go. Thank you. You have a beautiful home. Henry, I still don't think you should be here. It's not a coincidence that our paths crossed again. Life is trying to tell you and I something, and we should listen. Look, I have no idea what life is trying to tell you, and I am not interested. Samantha, it's been three years since we both stupidly dissolved our beautiful marriage. And none of us is yet to find true happiness. Speak for yourself, will you? I am very happy. Are you? Can you honestly say that all you need to be fulfilled is a successful career? can the Lord do for you today? Pastor, my friend here, she has been married for five years, but she doesn't have any child yet. Mm. Her name is Hannah. My Sitari Kambundese, Jehovah, your word, I praise you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
you have brought her to the right place. Yeah. Oh, see, Pastor, mm -hmm. it's not as if I've never been pregnant. In fact, I was once pregnant, but they said the child was developing outside the womb, so they had to terminate the pregnancy. Mm. Since then, I've not had any setback. Mm. The devil is a liar. Amen. You see, it does not matter if the doctor says you do not have a womb at all. Mm -hmm. For I know the God I serve. He is the great God who fetches water with the basket mm. just to humble the bucket. Mm. Yeah. He is the mighty God who cracks coconuts with an egg. Hallelujah, mm. hallelujah. Mm. Which one do you want? Do you want twins, triplets, or quadruplets? <laughs> sir, I, I don't mind one. Let me just start with one for now, sir. Oh, no. That's too common for my God. Are you underestimating my God? No, 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 no at all. He is called Jehovah Overdue. Hallelujah. It means he does it all. La puri sin kabon de resinda. You are worthy, Lord. Do you know what you do for me? No, sir. Come here with your husband. Okay. So we can join our hands in prayers and channel your supplications to the heavens. Okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. But um, so how much should I package? Like 50K, 100K, 150, you know, in an envelope? I don't know. For what? Uh, for prayers, sir. Oh, come on. Prayers are for free. Yes, but you can as well appreciate the Lord with whatever you have when you get result. Wow. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, Pastor. You are blessed. Your kind is real. Thank you. Jehovah, you are worthy to be praised. Glory to your holy name. Hallelujah. You are blessed. Amen. Amen. And so shall it be. Amen. Come back here by next week, Wednesday. And let us pray together. And in few months' time, you shall be called Mama Somebody. Amen. 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 I receive it. Amen. Sakabanda rede, lima toba kandi, sembura kesara. Jehovah, you are worthy, and I praise your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. You are blessed. Amen. You are blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And please, the next person in the waiting room. Thank you, sir. More anointing, sir. God bless you, sir. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Hello, Samantha. Hello, Henry. How's your day going? Very well, thank you. Yours? Fine. I'm calling to ask what our fate is regarding the contract. I thought you understood. I was just being polite with my outright no when I said we'll get back to you. Look, I know you don't owe me any favors, but my friend and I need that contract to revive our dying company. Henry, even if you deserve all the favors in the world from me, I'm not going to jeopardize innocent lives by awarding a home-building contract to some bunch of quacks. We're capable. Okay, we've handled contracts for your company in the past. Contracts you got based on how much kickbacks you were willing to give? It doesn't mean we didn't deliver. Look, Henry, the fact that your company has two different quotations for the same project shows how shady and unreliable your people are. We made the first quotation based on instructions from our contact guy at the time. Listen to me, Henry. I'm afraid you cannot get the contract. Perhaps when next we have pet projects. So this is, this is what? This is you punishing me for messing up our marriage? Don't be ridiculous. I'm not that petty. Come on. I'm just... See, this is just business. Nothing personal. 
I have to go now. Called me. Oh, yes, I did. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to have a word with you before setting the table for dinner. Just go straight to the point, please. Please sit. I can hear you. Henry, please sit. Make it fast. Uh, okay. <clears throat> it's about the pastor. You know, I thought it was one of us fraudulent pastors that would ask for money but then he told me that I don't need to bring any money for prayers that all I have to do is just to come together with you and join in some prayer are you listening to me Henry I am oh great so he said we should come next week Wednesday Anna I'm not going anywhere with you what do you mean by that so we are in this together you want a child, don't you? I do, but not from you. What? Look, I made a huge mistake before, but I won't repeat it again. Wait, what, what are you talking about? The only reason I thought it was right to marry you was because you were pregnant for me. But life happened and I realized that I don't love you. I never will. Henry, <clears throat> where is this coming from? It's coming from a place of regret, remorse, and self-discovery. You know, I think your, your joke is getting too serious. Can you, like, stop joking, please? It's, it's not a joke, Anna. It's not. Okay? My heart and soul were never in this marriage. I know who I want to be with. And that person is not you. Why is she crying like this? Pastor, some men are evil. Eh? It's, it's only few of them that will die with. Well. Hey, hey, hey. Please, do not forget you are speaking to a man. Tell me what the problem is and stop throwing general curses. Sorry, Pastor. But how come my friend husband says he doesn't want a child from her? It's okay, it's okay. Does he want to buy a child from the supermarket instead? Pastor, I don't know what came over my husband. He just said that he does not want a child from me. And he said, he said his body is mine and his soul. He doesn't belong to me anymore. That he belongs to somebody else. Yeah. I don't know what to do, Pastor. Please oh, help me. Can I can feel an intruder in your marriage. <laughs> this has become a very serious spiritual matter. Pastor, I agree. I agree. There's someone else that is confusing him. Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to deal with this spiritual matter first before we come back to the childbearing issue. Pastor, please help me. Please help me. I don't want to lose my home. Please help me. Help me save my marriage. I don't want to lose my man. Please help me to save Pastor. Stop crying. It's okay. You know what? I will need you to get me the photo of this aspiring homebreaker mm. so that I can gladly hand her over to the heavenly host to seriously deal with her for trying to put asunder what the Lord has joined together. Oh, Pastor, I don't even know this person. I don't know what she looks like. I've never seen her before. I have no idea. <laughs> you need to
to try. <laughs> you need to try to get her photo. We cannot find an enemy we cannot see, though. You know? Please. Okay, but I will try. I will try my best. I will be more vigilant. <laughs> so please, just help me. I don't want to lose my own, please. Okay. <laughs> Wipe your tears, my daughter. Wipe your tears. <laughs> By the time I finish binding and casting her out of your marriage, she will discover the difference between anointing oil and granite oil. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. <laughs> Everything, including husband snatcher spirit. I bind and cast you out of her marriage. Die! 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 Out of her marriage! Out of her marriage! What are you doing here? I waited outside your office and followed you home just to be sure you're fine. Huh. Now I see why your company is dying. You wouldn't have time for stalking if you were busy at work. Some things are more important. All of us cannot be all about work just like you. Listen, Henry. If you've come here to try to make me change my mind regarding the contract, I'll say don't waste your time. That's not why I'm here. You made it very clear that you'd rather award the contract to another company, and that's fine. That's okay. It's your call. So what then are you doing here? Samantha. I came here to ask for your forgiveness for not being a supportive husband and for falling for the temptation of our cook that ruined our marriage. Forgiveness. Henry, you don't need my forgiveness. We're both in a better place now. I'm not. I'm not.
hope you found what you were looking for on my phone. <clears throat> oh, who told you I was looking for anything? It's not a mistake that I turned off my password. I wanted you to find whatever it is that you're looking for. My man! Okay. Calm down. Sounds like you have good news. As if you haven't heard already. I haven't heard anything, did you? Pyramid structures just sent us a mail that they're going to let us handle half of the building contracts, which is way, way better than nothing. <laughs> wow. Why are you acting shocked? Don't, uh, are, you, are you trying to say you don't have anything to do with this? <laughs> as much as I'd like to take credit for it, I can't say I did it. So, what have you been stalking Samantha for all over Lagos? I mean, what has the both of you been talking about? I'm still in love with her and I've been pleading for her to give me another chance. Wow. So, you want to leave Anna to go back to Samantha? I shouldn't have left Samantha in the first place. That's probably the biggest mistake of my life and now that I have the opportunity to correct that mistake, I'm grabbing it with both hands. Wow, wow, wow. But, but you know, Samantha would even be much busier than before. I mean, she is in a very high position in one of the biggest construction companies in the country. So, how do you plan? I mean, talk to me. I know better now. And I can handle it. Hmm. Okay. Okay. That's okay. But I'm happy. It's all good. Mm -hmm. Only an angel would be considerate enough to help my company stay in business, despite how much I hurt her in the past. Samantha, thank you for awarding half of the contract to my company. I hope you read the part of the contract that says you will be working under strict supervision by our people and we reserve the right to cancel the deal anytime should we feel you're not delivering up to standard. I did. And be rest assured that we won't disappoint you. Also, may I ask why you changed your mind? You see, Henry, you're a good man. You used to be the love of my life until you ruined everything. It was never intentional, Samantha. It doesn't matter anymore, does it? Can I please buy you lunch? Harry, I'm, I'm busy with work. Look, I, I know that I don't deserve it, but please, for old time's sake. Okay, okay. I'll see you soon. Ah. I hope I'm doing the right thing. Master. This is a picture. Her name is Samantha. Samantha. Yes. Hmm. Sounds more like a name from the Marine Kingdom. I know. Don't worry. She will know that power passes power. Thank you, Pastor. Mm. Thank you. Yes. So, for more effective prayer approach. Yes. 
Do you know how your husband met this Samantha woman? Was she his colleague at work or something? Uh, <clears throat> um, um, I, I, actually, <laughs> she's um, his ex-wife. Ex-wife? I, I don't understand. They were once married. And um, <clears throat> she hired me as, as a cook. But, but then, they were always fighting and um, she never took care of her husband. Oh, I see. Yes. And, and later, I, I, I got pregnant. Yes, I got pregnant for him and, and she divorced him because of that. But then, I don't know why she's back into our lives now. I don't know why she's trying to ruin my marriage. I, I, I don't know. Mm. Yes. So, if I get you correctly, Mm. This woman hired you to take care of her kitchen duties. Yes. And uh, as a professional homebreaker that you were, you extended your duties to her bedroom. No, sir. I'm not going to allow you to talk to me like that. I am not a professional homebreaker. I, I, they were always arguing. I had to come in one way or the other. I just had to save... save Is save. it your argument? Now your argument. Mm -hmm. Wait. I, I didn't do anything wrong. I don't think I did any. Mm. Sir, so, so what are you trying to? Why are you snapping me? You are the homebreaker in this equation. Yes, it is your photo that I need so I can cast and bind you out of that woman's house. What? Pastor, I, I came to you for help first. I, 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 I came to report this to you first. My so dear. you have to help me. My dear. No be person when first carry case go police the window. Listen, I am giving you 21 days to pack your things and leave that house for the original wife to come back, or else I will rain fire and brimstone on you. Get out. I said that you get out! Get out before I call down the Holy Spirit on you to finish you! Look at her. Professional homebreaker. See what she wear now. Jezebel. Oh, wait. You wear that one to come seduce man of God. Holy Ghost fire. You know, you know go work for you. Holy Ghost. I cover myself, my everything with the Holy Ghost fire. Ah, ah. Thank you for agreeing to do this. It means a lot to me. It's nothing special. I just don't know how to say no to a premier. I told Anna the truth. What truth? That she's the biggest mistake of my life and I don't love her. Why? That's such a horrible thing to say to your wife. After I signed those divorce papers, I've been spending every day of my life wishing I could turn back the hands of time so I can make a better decision. Henry, to be honest, I, I wish I paid more attention to your needs back then. But it's all in the past now and wishes can't change anything. I know the food is not here yet, but can I ask you a question? No, you can't. Why not? Because I know you'd ask a question I won't be able to answer. Do you still love me? And I was right. Anyways, I'll need you and your team to drop by at the office tomorrow so we can sort out all the paperwork for the project and you can commence work ASAP. Are you trying to change the subject? Yes, I am. There is no need going down memory lane. It is pointless. Why is the food not ready? Samantha, we can make this right. We both know better now. What are you talking about? It's never too late to do the right thing. I'll send Anna away and 
we can give ourselves the precious gift of a second chance. Oh, please, Harry. Just because I awarded half of the contract to you doesn't mean I want you and I to come back together. You sort out whatever issues you're having with your wife and make your marriage work. I'm here for the free food, please. Waiter, why is it taking so long? Hello? Samantha, 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 how many times did I call you? Who is this? Look, this is Hannah, and I am calling you to stay away from my man. Leave Henry alone. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> it is you who is out of your mind for having the thought that you can steal my man away from me. The same man you got pregnant for while I was married to him, and I let you have him because you were too insignificant for me to fight with? Huh? So why are you back in our lives? What do you want? Hannah, I owe you no answers. Channel all your questions to your husband. Samantha, you and I know that you don't like being married. So you don't have an idea of what, what a wife look, look, looks like. Why are you trying to destroy my home? What is it? Now I see you're crazy. Look, he is with me now. And there is nothing in this earth that will make him come back to you. Do you understand? You know? You must really think you're sharp and smart with the way I let you have my husband without putting up a fight. See, you don't love him as much as I do. Because if you love him, you will not choose your career over his needs. You won't. And that gives you the right to sleep with my husband? <laughs> have you not heard? The way to a man's heart is through his stomach. I was cooking for him. I was making good meals for him. I was doing right by him. Really? Yes, really. Now, I'm going to warn you, Samantha, for the last time, because the next time that I call you is going to be very brutal. Stay away from my man. I don't want to see you two meters or, or, or one inch close to him. Do you understand me? Nonsense! This bitch dropped the call. <laughs> Hello, Henry. I... I'm so sorry. Okay, please, disregard whatever she said to you. As much as I hate to admit it, she made some valid points over the phone. Have a seat. First, I left a crack in the wall by by placing my career over my marriage. Then I foolishly brought into my home a girl like Hannah to cook for you. But then, two wrongs don't make it right. I should have known better.
Help me. Are you dissolving your marriage with Hannah because of me? No. She's a mistake I've been thinking of the best way to correct. With or without you in the picture, I can't be with someone like Anna. But she's everything you want your woman to be. No, you are everything I want my woman to be. I wish you paid more attention to my needs, but I should have accepted you the way you are because I'm not perfect either. And you love me all the same. So, you're willing to dissolve your second marriage in the space of three years? I'm not legally married to Anna. Oh. I couldn't get myself to do that. So it was just a traditional engagement? Not an engagement per se. I, I paid a bright price because she was pregnant. But I've called a parent to ask for a refund. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. for a refund of my bride price. Are you under a spell? I explained everything to them and they understand. Understand what? That this was a mistake. And the earlier we make amends, the better for everyone. Is something wrong with you? After everything that I've done for you? What have you done for me? Henry, you wanted a stay-at-home wife. Somebody that will cook for you, clean for you, and bear you children. You know by now we're supposed to have a child, if not for what happened to the pregnancy, our pregnancy. Anna. I don't want to fight. All I want is for you to leave my house and my life. <laughs> Henry, I am not going anywhere. I'm traveling over the weekend with my people to take back the bride price that I paid. By the time I'm back, I want you gone peacefully. If you like, go to Pluto or where the fuck you want to go to. I am not going to leave this house. If I am going to leave, then you are going to have to kill me. And that's on period. Nonsense. Samantha for the last time because the next time that I call you is going to be very brutal. Stay away from my man. to ask you and your answers will determine if we should keep this a second chance or not. You see, I know that I wasn't exactly the best wife for you when we were together, but how willing and ready are you for a second chance? Okay. 
okay um, let's see and talk about it all right see you soon Hello, Hannah. What are you doing here? <laughs> this place hasn't changed at all. Ooh. I'm asking you a question. What are you doing here? Look, mm. if you are here to see Henry, he is not in the house. Oh, I'm very well aware that Henry traveled to collect back your breakfast. And I am here too. Thank you specially for your wise words the other day you called. Make me understand, what wise words are you talking about? You see, Hannah, you made me realize all my mistakes. You know, how I placed my career over my marriage. Can you imagine? Mm -hmm. Hannah, you made me realize that I shouldn't have exposed my loving husband to such a desperate person like yourself. And ultimately, that I shouldn't have given up on my man. Oh. <laughs> you know, I gave up on him too quickly. Mm, it's not your fault. You know, mm. yeah, I understand that you're just no wired for marriage. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm taking care of him. <laughs> ah. Your time is up, Hannah. I need you to get yourself out of my home this minute. I am not going anywhere. Then you leave me no choice but to throw you out. Throw me out to where? To the streets where you belong. <laughs> you can't do that. You cannot possibly do that. Of course I can't. I mean, have you seen your size? I wouldn't want to break my nails. Of course. Look at them. Very expensive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which is why I have with me two not so very gentle men to help me move you and your miserable things out of my home. You can't do that. Watch me. Gentlemen! Come in. <laughs> God, I'm going to enjoy this so bad. You see, you, I need you to go upstairs, pack every single feminine stuff you find there and throw them out. What? You move her. Hey, you, you don't, don't, don't go anywhere. Don't move, move her. I need you to understand that you do not have any rights in this house anymore. You can't, you can't throw me out. Hey, you don't throw touch out my of my house. You don't touch my things! Get out! Samantha, I am coming back for you! Get out! I promise you I'm coming back! I'm coming back, Samantha! <laughs> wow! Uh, this is what peace really? feels like. <sighs> Welcome home, Samantha. Make sure you don't lose anything. Every single feminine stuff, pack them out. Thank you, first of all. Come back home. Sorry, Mom. Ah, my friend. Huh? Ah. Ah, 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 ah. Are you traveling? to bring my other stuff. Uh, customer, welcome. Mm -hmm. uh, what happened? See, it's a long story. Eh? Yeah. But let me still put my things here for now. Mm. After the close of work, we'll carry it to your house. Oh yeah, let's go. Hey. <laughs> my, my house, <laughs> are you trying to be funny? You're not laughing. No. Uh, please now, Beatrice, you're my only friend though. Uh, that was before my pastor told me that you're a professional homebreaker and I should stay away from you. Uh, Mm. So you won't help me? <laughs> How now? So that you come and try your professional snatching skills on my man, Abby? Ah, no! I 
Auntie, carry your bag first. Um, Hold your bag, hold your bag. A friend you need, uh, a friend you need. Though. A customer, welcome. See, I'm very busy. I'll come and attend to you. Carry, carry, carry. Carry now. Please, please now. See, you can be in need someday. Uh, Beatrice, uh, I beg. Thank you. Eh? I have customers to attend to. I'm I beg busy. now. I beg. Jamaica, you don't. Why beg. you go? They go now. Beatrice, please now. Bye. Beatrice, please. Bye. Jamaica, you don't. They go. Need down. Wait up. They go. Please now. Bye bye. Please. Come now. Customer. I hope we don't regret this. I know we won't. It's okay if you're busy with work. It's fine if you don't want to have kids. All I want is you. Actually, I have achieved enough in my career for now. So, I think it's time to pay attention to family and becoming a better wife. What are you doing? I'm sorry for being unreasonable and letting you go. I promise to be the best version of myself and making it my life goal to see you happy. Will you please remarry me? Yes, I will. about I make you your favorite meal after which we start the process of baby making. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's exactly what I signed up for. <laughs> you. Anytime, any day you eat hard I just wanna be so selfish with you. 